chairman of MSC Cruises, and he joins me now from the MSC Seascape. Wonderful to have you. So walk me through some more of these attributes. I mean, I think I saw something about a roller coaster being mentioned. I'm not sure if I have the stomach for it, but walk me through some of the other features. Well, uh, MSC Seascape, uh, first of all, good day to everybody. Uh, we are down at Pier 88 down in Manhattan, and uh, we're very happy to showcase uh, this beautiful piece of hardware just out of the box built in Italy in Fincantieri. Uh, this ship has been built for the warmer weather, so we have a lot of uh, generous external spaces close to the water for passenger customers to enjoy. And obviously, we have all the typical features, you know, many restaurants, many bars, uh, and the Robotron that you were mentioning, uh, that it's uh, this new crazy machine, 180 <laughs> foot uh, higher above sea level, that makes you spin and hopefully you didn't have lunch before, because obviously... <laughs> is a tricky you know but it's fun it's very exciting crazy but fun as you say uh how how is business how is the cruise industry right now well we, we're coming back we've been through uh, very tough times uh, obviously cash burning mode for everybody you know through the pandemic but we were strong we got together we actually put this protocol together we were the first ones uh, as a cruise industry to come back with this protocol to actually test everybody and to ensure the bubble approach on our ships so that everybody could actually join us in a safe mode mm. uh, passenger consumer appreciated it very much and especially in this economic uh, uh, particular, peculiar moment where there is a lot of inflation, speculation, prices are increasing, uh, uh, cruising, uh, this platform or holidays is still giving the best value for money there is. So there is a democratization of luxury where you actually have a five-star experience, uh, but with the buying power of the, the capability that this uh, cruise line have, uh, we are very competitive to the end consumer mm -hmm. you know, to actually have a five-star holiday. So would you say that that's what's driving demand? It's the value proposition or is it all of the pent up demand that we hear pretty much every airline CEO talk about? Is it the pent up demand to travel and get out or is it the value proposition for the cruise line operators, do you think? Well, it's a mixture. Uh, obviously, psychological uh, consumer have been through a very tough time. So we need all our sanity to come back. We all need to go out there and enjoy our holiday. And, you know, luxury is uh, your holiday time. So there is uh, the feel uh, that uh, we all feel safer, you know, to actually travel. There is the offering of these incredible itineraries uh, that uh, cruise lines and these cruise ships offer, you know, whether it's the Caribbeans, whether it's traveling around the world, back in Europe. And obviously, there is also the value proposition. Notwithstanding the fact that these hardwares are incredible, so not only on environmental, but especially for the fun and the offering that, uh, mm. you know, the, this platform actually offer to the final consumer. So the mix of everything obviously is driving back tourism. And, uh, you know, the favorite way to travel is to see from your own balcony in the cabin a sunset, uh, you know, in the sea. And that, uh, mm. that, that is what is exciting. The, the will to travel, as you point out, is certainly there. And at this point, unemployment seems to be very low. I mean, how, how is MSC planning for the potential of an economic downturn, planning for uh, unemployment to rise? I mean, what happens then? Because it does clearly seem to be quite a big risk out there that uh, industries are preparing for. Well, we very uh, we we actually very positive. We, we are positive in our own nature. Uh, these assets move. And so uh, geographically, we can actually chase, uh, you know, uh, not only the school holidays, but where the economy, uh, you know, geopolitical issues are, we move our assets. So uh, we see that there is a pent up demand. Even in Europe is coming back strongly. North America, uh, we see demand getting much more in advance. So the booking curves are, you know, coming much earlier in time. And uh, now we hear that somehow Asia will come back again. And that is also looking very positive, meaning that we're going really to a global operation mm. yet again for this industry. You follow the business. You go where the business goes. Makes sense. Pierre Francesco Vago, great, great to have you. Thank you. We'll have